Okay, tell me this. Okay, do it. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we have done it. We changed the name together collectively as a group. We changed the name of the channel. And the logo and the banner and all that good shit. So there's no more uh, Ve Vezerlo anymore. Vezerlo is dead. Uh, now we are moving on to the new generation of Vulpix IV. This may seem like a surprise to some of you who do watch my content. Because I never, I never even changed my name before on this channel. So this is the first big name change and hopefully the last. So if you don't know why I'm doing this, you should probably watch the video that's called The Actual New Change Epic and that'll just give you a rundown on why I changed my name to this and why it's no longer Vezerlo Productions. Short answer though is that I just feel more comfortable with this name. I like it more. It looks better to me and sure. All right. So I guess let's get into the topic. First, me. Hey, you guys get that? It's a reference to PewDiePie, if you didn't know. Like, PewDiePie. I'll search him up in case you guys... So, I wanted to make the first actual video be the most happiest video I could possibly make. So, I'm gonna be talking about Justin Trudeau today. So, y'all probably know Justin Trudeau, the man, the myth, the legend. If you don't know who this guy is, like, basically he has been the Canadian Prime Minister for the last four-ish years. I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, Justin Trudeau is the best person ever. You guys should move to Canada. Like, I'm not gonna make that the preference of the video. Like, I'm just gonna talk in general about the main topic, which you already probably know about. Um, so, uh, Justin Trudeau blackface. Uh, to be honest, I, <laughs> I, I have, I don't, I don't think anyone expected seeing this because, like, this man, this like beautiful, like epic man. He's never, at least from what I can remember, he's never done anything close to, like, racist or sexist or homophobic or, like, transphobic. He's never been, at least from what I can remember, he's never been in, like, the main spotlight for doing something really bad that, like, offended a lot of people. But now he is. And also, feel free to correct me in the comments if I did and show your approval with the like button. Because that'd be cool. So, basically, the story goes that in 2001, and this is true like justin confirmed it himself he was a teacher in vancouver and in a yearbook he uh he dressed he dressed up for a special event related to arabic characters he dressed up as aladdin but instead of doing it the normal aladdin way and just wearing like something on his head and like a costume he decided to make his entire face and i think even parts of his neck too uh black like with makeup so it's literally it's literally blackface which is um which is really really uh unexpected and a little bit weird considering that he it's just it this is very un, uh, this is very unexpected like this is the same man who went to a vancouver gay bar and just kind of chilled there for a bit even though he's not gay just to support people and then you find out about this now i'm not gonna like get into like a political discussion or anything about this but uh trudeau's been on thin ice for the past while if you haven't been keeping up with canadian media which i'm guessing most of you who don't live over here in the great white north probably know about basically uh there's an election coming up and trudeau's been at the center of attention for the past year because people have been you know, poking, poking holes at him for what he's changed and what he hasn't changed. Especially where I'm living right now in Alberta, there's a huge, like, I don't think any part of Alberta is going to win, like, maybe like one or two, but I feel like there's going to be no liberals, or no, like, no, like, liberal seatings in this election. Like, at least in Alberta, just because of the drama that's, you know, happened with your boy and this Texas of the North place. So is Justin a racist person? Uh, well, that's honestly debatable. I don't really feel like he is racist, and he, he actually did make a follow-up. Like, he, he talked, he made, like, a press conference, basically, and it was very brief, but basically, he admitted to doing more blackface in this, which I'm not exactly sure, like, what he was thinking. Maybe, like, just a open be like honest with everyone but like you should like 
I'm not saying that you should have hid that from everyone, but like, I, that just added fuel to the fire. So I'm not sure what was going through his mind right there. People were even asking him to resign after this, which I mean, uh, that's pretty far fetched. But I, I guess I can see where they're coming from. But I wouldn't really call him a racist. He did say that, and it, that this doesn't mean it's okay at all. Like it's clearly not okay. But he said that 2001 was a very different time, which is true. Like. It, well, you shouldn't have done it, but like compared to now, it would have been let go a lot more easier than if you were to do the exact same thing, like the Aladdin costume and everything right now. So um, yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Trudeau's uh, probably gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna get, again, I'm not gonna get into politics, but he's still probably gonna win the election anyway. Like everyone can probably already see that coming. But he's probably not, it's probably not going to be a very wholehearted election. Like, I feel like most of the liberals that are even going to vote for him are just going to, you know, not have the greatest feeling that they did voting for him back in 2015. Because back then, he was just an innocent little guy, and now he's turned into uh, this, this, this man. Also, I should probably mention, I'm not going to become, like, another Leafy with, like, gaming commentary sort of videos. I am probably going to, I'm trying to switch over to, like, a video sort of style like an actual like you know like face to face kind of thing but uh i i might I need, I need to charge my camera so yeah you're just gonna see some gameplay right now all right so moving on to the next meme of the day there has been some drama with youtube which is really cool i've never i never expected this drama with youtube what they did something controversial what so um basically you know that little check mark next to like youtubers of over a hundred thousand subscribers um yeah it's been there for like almost since the beginning i think i don't remember exactly when it was introduced but um now they are removing it for a new system where they'll just put like a little black bar under your name if you have a certain amount of subscribers and you have to be manually reviewed now uh everyone nobody really asked for this at all i think youtube is just doing this because they want to make everything look more clean, I guess. But it's like, and I guess I kind of agree with their point. Like, their main point was that it was like, it, it, after doing some research, they just found that the check mark confused people with, like, it, it's being YouTube endorsed. So what they're, as, what they said they're trying to not do, basically, like, the underlying meaning is that we don't want you to, for example, say something really offensive and have that check mark next to your name and everyone will associate that really offensive thing with YouTube. But after they just like made a big change to like subscribers to make everything look more like uniform and clean, it's pretty obvious that most, or maybe not most, but a good part of it has to do with just simplifying it and making the website look better, which I mean, I guess, but I don't think anyone really cared about I don't think anyone really cared about the subscriber numbers either, like, but there's nothing we can do about it now, so, um, yeah, so, PewDiePie got unverified, but what's even more surprising is that YouTube unverified themselves, yeah, that's a real thing, on their own YouTube page, they're no longer verified, which is, um, interesting, and not all YouTubers have been hit with the, like, removal of the chat mark, at least as of right now, but... I'm guessing that it'll probably happen eventually where everyone will just have this black bar behind them. Speaking of controversy, have you heard about Takashi69? Um, so if you don't know who uh, Takashi is, or if I'm saying that right, Takashi, I have no idea. Um, he was, he was a rapper, and I say was because for the past, like, 12 months, he has been in a whole bunch of legal trouble and is i believe he was serving time and i was told that it was like a life sentence but like it's still like debatable basically as of right now he's gonna be in jail for as long as long as he knows um which i mean for what he did i mean that's a serious that's pretty that's pretty serious but i mean i guess i understand where I, I guess i understand why he's serving that long if he even is, I'm not even like a hundred percent sure because I think it's still being decided if he's gonna actually serve a, like his whole his like whole life or like his main controversy in the legal side, if you don't know, has to do with like him and a lot of issues with drugs, like a lot of times he's been arrested over drugs. 
um he also had a gun and i think he like sh like he was he had it in public all right okay i just looked at it um so yeah he confessed to years of domestic abuse so his he, basically his trial is still going on and he just came earlier this year he pleaded guilty and now he's back in court right now and basically the whole controversy right now is that 6 9 is going full on Lilo and Snitch right now. Basically what he's doing is he's just he's calling out everyone for being part being a part of like a gang or like any like affiliations with like a gang basically. For example, Cardi B and Jim Jones were put on blast by this guy. So um yeah, that's not great. I don't really care what music you listen to. If you listen to 6 9 cool. That's that's fine with me. But, like, this is a little bit... I don't know. I don't know, bro. <laughs> like, this whole 6 9 situation has been, um... I... It's... It's been interesting. And I guess... I guess we'll see if, like, Marshmallow is next on the chopping block for having affiliations with gang shit. Alright, so that's it for me. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe preferably you do the subscribe because that's a better option and if you do that make sure to click the bell so that you get notifications because then what's the point of subscribing also comments tell me what you thought of this different sort of video uh i guess we'll see y'all later so see ya bye see ya